Rebbe Yashiv said, Rebbe Yashiv, and he was talking to people in Meir Sha'ar, he said, every Bachura needs a Chaver. Every teenage girl needs a boyfriend. If the father has Seichel, he'll do the job. The girl becomes 13, she becomes 14, 15. She comes downstairs the first time with a little lip gloss or looking better. She's starting to feel more, right? And she needs a compliment from a male. That's the Bria. People used to get married at 14, 15, 16 years old. Hashem wants the girl to start wanting compliments from a man. So that way, by the time they need to get married, this is what so you're, you're filling in that hole. Said Rabbi Yashiv to people in Meisha Aram. If the father has seichel, you'll do the job. You'll do the job. All they need is the, the, that hug. And yet fathers don't, I don't hug my daughter. She'll find someone else to hug. I don't compliment. I'm not close. But they're your kid. They're your kid. You gotta hug them. And it's the same thing with the boys. They need affection from mommy and daddy. They need to feel totally at ease with you. And if, if they don't, that means that something happened between the bris and now that made a normal feeling that a child should feel comfortable around his parents that broke that. Very often, the kid misbehaved. We didn't understand why. And we broke the trust and we punished and we yelled and we screamed and we thought we were doing the right thing, but it wasn't, okay, for this kid. So whatever it was, it was. You gotta undo that. That's part of what we're doing. We're putting the pieces back together on this relationship. We're rebuilding the trust. Trust is a very interesting thing. It takes a minute to destroy, and it could take a year or more to rebuild. It could take many years to rebuild. If a kid internally feels, I don't trust my parents, they have no trust in anybody, they don't trust anything in the world. They have to, you have to rebuild that trust at their pace. You can't pressure somebody to trust you. You gotta earn it like what you're doing. And over time, they just feel comfortable. And we see this happening when the kids are like hugging their parents for a minute. We had, a, we had a girl who was holding her father for two minutes. He was holding her. Don't let go first. It's very intimate. It's mamish. It's what parents and children should be. Avram hugged Yitzchak. Yitzchak hugged Yaakov. They had love. They hugged. They kissed. Somehow, we lost that, probably due to the Holocaust. And kids need it. Today, the kids' mamish need it. You go on the street, every kid on the street, hey, hugging each other. I never hugged anybody in Shiva. Now I see Bachram hug each other. When I was in Shiva, nobody hugged. You too? Yeah, yeah, nobody hugged. And you, what about you? Anybody? You hugged? We didn't hug. Now in Bachram, I see in Shiva Bachram, they hug each other. It's like, great. And they say like, I love you, man. I love you. I love you. Like they just, there's much more ahava, which is very good. It's very important. So I never hugged anybody. And all of a sudden I went on the street. Hey, hug, hug. I'm, I'm hugging all these guys. Why are they hugging each other? They're desperate for it. They need it. We have to give it to them. If the father has seichel, he'll do the job. And if the mother has seichel, she'll do the job also because these are broken kids. He was talking, Rabbi Yasha was talking about healthy from Meisharim girls. We're talking about broken kids. It's the boys and the girls, and it's all ages, even those that we're seeing now who are 30 years old. And they're so broken. They're so broken that they need their mommy and their tati just like an eight-year-old. Because that's what childhood trauma does to them.